Now you know how to create new files and how to edit them inside of the terminal using shell. And we have used such applications as VIM and Nano. Nano is basically my favorite text editor. Alright, now let me show you how to copy files and how to move files. And using move command MV you could also rename file if you want. Alright, let's start by copying a specific file to another file. Let me clear terminal and now I have several files here in home directory for this root user. And let me copy file 3.txt to file 4.txt. And simply type cp file 3.txt and next as second argument type name of the file you want to copy this first file into. File 4.txt. Enter. Ls. And now I see file 4.txt here in this list. Let's use additional option ls-l in order to see also permissions and the size of the files. And now I see that permissions and size of those two files are completely the same. There is a single difference here in modification time, because those files were created and modified at different moments of time. Alright, that's how you could easily copy a specific file. Also, you are able, of course, copy file from other location. Let's do that. Let's copy file, for example, from etc folder. I'll start from absolute path, forward slash, etc, next uh, forward slash, and if you press tab twice, you'll see all possible names of directories and files you could use here in this command. And let's suppose that uh, you want to copy this file. You could uh, choose any file you want, libaudit.conf. Let's add it here in path, let's press Q first, and next let's type lib au, and let's press tab, like so, it will be auto-completed. And let's say that I want to copy this file into current home directory for root user. And let's suppose that I want to name it lib audit backup, like so, dot conf. Press enter, ls, and now I see this newly created file. Let's read it cut libaudit.backup.conf and I see some contents of this file. And let me actually quickly check the size of this file and modification time. ls-l and here is this data. I see permissions, I see owner, root user and I see that uh, this file was modified today. Alright, that's how you could copy single file. But what if you want to copy entire directory? Let's try it. Let me clear terminal and let's here create folder called etc backup, like so. ls-la and now this folder is present here, etc backup. And let's copy entire etc folder to etc backup. For that you need to use same command cp but with option dash r recursive. And let's specify here path to etc folder like so and here will be etc backup folder. Notice that here I have used absolute path and here I have used relative path, because now I am currently located in the folder that holds this subdirectory etc backup. Alright, let's press enter and see what will happen. ls-la, nothing was changed here, and let's now ls contents of etc backup folder. And now here I see only single folder etc. And if I have a look at contents of this folder, ls etc backup etc, I'll see a bunch of different files like libaudit.conf and so on. And that means that the folder etc itself was entirely copied to etc backup folder. But what if you want to copy contents of the folder into other folder, I mean without this additional etc folder? In such case, we need to slightly modify input command. But first, let me remove this etc folder from etc backup folder. For that, we could go into etc backup folder, cd etc backup, and here enter command rm-r etc. Please recap that dash r option is used if you want to remove specific directory with files and subdirectories. Let's press enter. And now this folder is absent here. Let's move one level up like so and let's go back to the command that we have entered before. Actually, I have forgotten to show you that uh, you are able to see entire list of all commands that you have entered before by entering command history. And here you'll see all previous commands. And actually here is command that we have used in order to copy etc folder into etc backup folder. Alright, let me now modify this command a bit and uh, 
with modification, we will copy contents of etc folder into etc backup folder. Let me do that. cp, again, dash r. Here will be again path to etc folder, but now I'll add forward slash and add here star like so. And with this command, we will copy contents of etc folder into destination folder. And destination folder will be the same as before, etc backup. We could autocomplete command if you want. Let's now press enter. And now let's list the contents of etc backup folder. And now I see all files without any additional intermediate etc folder. That's what we have actually achieved using this command, etc slash star. All right, that's how you are able to copy different directories. Let's move on and now let me demonstrate you how you could rename specific file. Let me clear terminal and let's list files and folders here. And let's suppose that I want to rename file 4.txt to file 5.txt. For that, you could use command mv. That stands for move. File 4.txt. And here, as second argument, will be new file name for this file. File 5.txt. Enter ls, and now I don't see file 4.txt here in this list, but I see file 5.txt. And of course, contents of this file were unchanged and they are the same as were included into file 4.txt. Alright, that's how you could rename a specific file. Now let me show you how you could use same command in order to move specific file from a specific location to other location. Let's list files and folders here. And let's suppose that I want to move a specific file from this newly created etc backup folder to this home directory. And let's move, for example, this file, guy.conf. For that, I could use mv command. Here will be path to this file. I'll use relative path etc backup and next will be file name, guy.conf. And next, I'll type simply name of the file that will be used for storage of this file in the new location. And if I want to move it without modification of the file name, I could simply type guy.conf and it will be moved with the same name, guy.conf. Let's press enter. Let's list files. And now I see here this file. And if I list the contents of etc backup folder, I should see that this file will be absent here. And yes, that is the case. It was moved from this folder to another folder. That's how you could move file from specific location to other location. All right. In the same way, you are also able to change name of specific directory. For example, if you want to rename etc backup, you could use same command mv etc backup and let's rename it to etc backup2 like so. Let's press enter ls and now I see that this folder was renamed to etc backup2. Let's list the contents of this folder etc backup2 and now I see the same files as we have seen in etc backup folder. All right, that's all for management of files and directories. And in this lecture, I have explained you how to copy files and folders, how to rename files and folders, and how to move files changing their location. That's all for this lecture. And in the next one, I'll tell you a bit more about reading files. Before, we have used only cut command, but there are additional commands like tail and head. Let me talk about them in the next lecture. Bye.